When we go to Mayatoshi, in Mayatoshi, very, very similar. You pick it up with the right or the left. But now we're underneath. We're underneath. Before we were over the top, now we're under here. And from here, we have this coil that can come through the elbow lock. You have the potential of really locking them up in some fairly violent ways. Again, as I've spoken of about when we were talking about the, uh, the, the kubiwaza, the wrist technique, it's not so much about what kind of crank you can create here. It's much more about the body dynamic of the step. And so when we really want to dial in what's going on in Mayatoshi, you could get here and completely turn loose of this whole structure and let him take a step from the outside and you step right behind it, right through it, right in sync with it, but through the line of his hip. We'll do it in several lines. No big cranking on the wrist. Picking it up and stepping with the man. With the man. As he attempts to walk forward, I'm going to stay in sync with him and slip right through him. As he tries to put his foot down, I'm extending the line of my step through his hip and into that forward line that he's stepping in already. And that's functionally what's making my Toshi go. Could you also get here and exhibit a, a terrible sort of lock in here? Sure you could. And then you throw it in a, a more static form. But that's, again, more of a special occasion type of thing. You don't really need to do that very much. And the one thing, if you are going to indulge in the work as a locking form, I would say watch out for lifting this up. That whole process happens way down low, down here in front of your belly. As you lift it up and you try to be powerful, yeah, he gets, he gets where he can turn his elbow down and become the boss again himself. So if you're going to have any pressure in this thing, it's happening down here in front of the belly, and you're ready to roll. Cool. From Maya Toshi.